Good morning, world. <laughs> All right, let's get back to it. Okay. Hey there, fellow adventurer. If you stumble across this terminal and my pal Robbie the robot, that must mean you're willing to read that you're willing to read this. If not. Don't take the terminal. I paid 20 caps for this thing, and even if you do, Robbie won't be the best pleased, and you might get some free laser surgery from him. Anyway, on to the adventure. According to some papers I found in an old building, there was a dainty little home in southern Nevada that holds quite a big secret. An entire underground facility. Apparently, from what I've heard, it's a hoax, and the... And the power is out anyway, so you won't really be able to see much in there regardless. My suggestion? There is a kind of power generator underneath the home that just needs a restart to work. And to do that, go do that and then take a gander inside. Treasures may await you. Why am I telling you this? Truth be told, I'm a bit of a coward. <laughs> and who, who knows what could be down there? It's up to you. I put the coordinates on here. And I've also got a password for one of the main doors here. Whatever that means. Cheers, pal. Alright. Okay.
Uh, just got into this place and I must say it's an absolute mess in here. It looks like the construction workers took their pay and left without a second thought to those who would have been here, might have been here afterwards. Okay, finally managed to clean this place up. Been hauling leftover terminals into the main building. Came across something they haven't seen in a while. A state-of-the-art P P50Q chest terminal. I managed to set it up and it seems to be in working condition. Only issue is the amount of dust it's gathered. Uh, but I'll deal with it later. Now I gotta work. Now I can work in here without dying of boredom. <laughs> The amount of power fluctuations lately has been insane. They're always diverted to, s to the same power block in the facility. I tried asking the soldiers and scientists, but they always brush it off as none of my business. Like hell it isn't. I managed a facility here. I don't know what the hell is happening down there. The system is reporting numerous robots activating. Almost a whole group is active now. I need to check this out. I'm... Hold on. The Protectron units are activating in here now. I'll go check it out and see what the fuss is. Probably a combat inhibitor issue. Log automatically saved due to user inactivity. Ah, here we go. Ha! I figured I'd get it on the third try. Test log. <laughs> Notes. I created the first batch of A20X, and the preliminary test show is quite effective at making whoever ingested it very complacent and calm. The only issue is giving it an effective form of delivery. We're currently seeing if it can be integrated into a form of consumable so that we needn't force whoever we're experimenting to take pills. 
Hence the drug Nuka Cola that I didn't pick up. After a meticulous effort to get the sample to combine with an ingestible, we have two candidates. One is coffee. Coffee seems to combine with the sample well, but the si but has a side effect of, of well, caffeination. So that negates the whole point of the sample. The other candidate is Nuka Cola. This one is more promising as it both combines with the sample and retains most of its effects, which definitely will, which, well, definitely put this through distribution on, to use on subjects. Huh? The Nuka Cola alternative seems to work well on new subjects we've processed, and I, and I'm getting promoted to work as a scientist in this facility. For the work I've done. Okay. I may be breaking the rule of Article 17 my contract, but who cares now? I'll be doing real science. Ah. Yeah, right. Yep. I am not picking that up. I am going to pick up that in a sample of A20X. <laughs> Give me the pre war book. Thank you. We have an entire facility down here built for cold hard testing and yet we waste our time on these psychological evaluations on this suck of psych evaluation. Why go through all this time and effort trying to coax the information out of out of them when we can take it from them by force? When we get this hive mind up and running and make it follow our commands, we can do so much more. I can see it now. Global mind control, the whole population of Earth under our command, with just one piece of experimental technology. The possibilities are endless. Huh! Yeah, so's the abuse. <laughs> 